Kalanda Hoda Tusuvira. I'm a Ugandan. I live in Kampala, Uganda. I am a tax officer and I'm an accountant by profession. I got to learn about Centonomy, I, I, I don't know how many years ago it was, but I was uh, going through YouTube channels and then I found Caroline um, to call talking about it. And um, it piqued my interest, just talking about these things we're learning and I went binge watching almost every video, but then it was, I found it was based in Kenya, but then it was physical classes. I was uh, fresh out of university, I didn't have a job, I didn't have money, so I was like, I put a pin in it. And then until recently, again, I started looking more, wanting to understand my money, and then I found again the Centonomy YouTube, and I found out they actually were now having online classes. So I kept on watching, you know, the free tidbits here and there, here and there on YouTube. With Centonomy, the way I joined, I was going through, again, as usual, my usual routine. Once I'm hooked, I was hooked. So I wanted to know more about money and I was going through the channel and then I noticed that they had advertised for, they had slots open for the June intake. Um, they had for entrepreneurs and also for personal financial management, Centonomy 101. And I realized, okay, I don't have a business yet at that time because uh, to register for entrepreneurship, you had to have a business. But then, I just shot my shot, <laughs> I applied. I wrote a very long email to Nancy um, requesting for the scholarship and I explained I'm from Uganda and I really, really had noticed that we didn't have a program like that in Uganda that was that holistic because I'd had a sneak peek at the website and I'd seen all the offerings and we, I had not seen that anywhere and I wanted it so badly, I applied and then that's when I got it. My aha moments in the Centronomy program, uh, I feel like there's so many, but this one thing that struck me was when we we're talking about Mary's story uh, in the case study. Realizing, uh, finding out why you view money the way that you view it. And for me, I realized that due to certain circumstances in, from my childhood, I felt like money is a fleeting thing. I actually had a common phrase, I would tell my friends, money is paper, it also catches fire. So I'd spend it <laughs> as it came through. And, um, I realized that was actually a scarcity mindset. My expectation of receive it, spend it, because if you don't spend it, either way you're going to lose it anyway. Um, that was a big thing for me. The other moment was when we were tracking our expenses. I thought I was in charge, I thought I was in control. And then I look at the end of the week and we're talking one day, just uh, within that week, I can't even talk about the total amount, but just one day I had 285,000 Ugandan shillings and I'd done grocery shopping four times in the same week and it was all bulk. And I realized I was even buying the wrong things. So that also was quite a rude awakening. It was like a cold slap in the face. Yeah, and the last one I would say was when we had the class on mindset and abundance. Oh my goodness, that class changed my life. Um, when she was talking, when Mrs. <laughs> Kitimi was talking, it's like, I, it was like setting me free from notions and preconceived notions in my head that I had about myself, understanding who I am as a person, my strengths. And yeah, um, it woke me up to a hundred thousand other possibilities that I could be and that I could start over. It's not too late, you're not too old. It doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are or where you are at right now in life. It's just that getting started. It's not about when you got started, it's about actually getting the work done and being intentional about it. Definitely encourage you to make the investment with Centonomy. It's worth it. Um, I literally even had a bit of guilt. I was like, oh my goodness, this is worth so much more than it's actually being offered. And as I mean, on a scholarship, but I would say, you need a holistic view of our finances. We need to get out of government at Toyambe vibes uh, where we feel like it's the government or it's, it's always going to be someone else except the man in the mirror. And I think Centonomy does that. It's a, like I said, it's a cold slap in the face. You wake up and you get to smell the coffee that you've been brewing for a while. And I strongly believe that if you sign up for Centonomy, it's going to change your life just as it did mine. And just get started look for the money you can pay in installments um you need this i can't i mean we don't even write wills in our country we all know how many people 
pass by and then pass on and we don't know but it's holistic it has everything that you need to know about investing about the time the time value of money the and it's not about just having money at the bank it's about you meeting your goals if you want to travel if you want to educate your children 10 years from now if you want to whatever life that you want to create for yourself Centonomy has so many answers to that and I would encourage the Ugandan audience to let's get onto this train honestly before it leaves us.